Hey, thanks so much for joining me here on the Monday Remix. And we're thinking back to uh, the message from this week, talking about that uh, Jesus says in Luke chapter 6, you know it's tree by the fruit it produces. So we talked about two factors that come into play in our production, in our fruit production. We talked about not having crop failure or avoiding crop failure. And those two areas are one, our character. That's the fruit of the Spirit. Love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. And the second one is our words and uh, planting good seed in uh, our life and the lives of others and uh, being careful with our words. But as I'm processing back through the message and all that God, I felt, put on my heart to share, I was, uh, I was really uh, caught in this moment with uh, the passage we were in, Luke chapter 6, and knowing the fruit uh, that comes from the tree, and uh, John 15, where Jesus uh, talks about He being the vine and that we are the branches. And you know, in John 15, He says that I am the true vine and my Father is the gardener. And every branch in me that does not produce fruit, uh, He removes and He prunes every branch that produces fruit so that it will produce more fruit. And He goes on to say in verse 6, if anyone does not remain in me, He is thrown aside like a branch, and he withers. They gather them, and they throw them into the fire, and they are burned. But if you remain in me, and my words remain in you, ask whatever you want, and it will be done for you. My Father is glorified by this, that you produce much fruit and prove to be my disciples. And so I'm thinking about our production of good fruit, right? The fruit of the Spirit, uh, good seeds through our words, that, is, uh, that reaps a harvest. And uh, many times we get frustrated. We get frustrated that we're not producing the fruit of the Spirit. We get frustrated that we're reacting out of our flesh or reacting out of our emotions. And uh, we're, not, we're not producing good fruit, God-honoring fruit. And I wonder, though, how many times do we take a moment to think, why am I producing this fruit? Why is this fruit coming out? Why am I saying these things? Why am I entertaining these things? Why am I doing these things? And I really think that there's a correlation between the fruit we produce and what we abide in. And so Jesus here in John 15 says, if you abide in me, if you fellowship with me, if you spend time with me, you will bear much fruit. And that God will come and he'll do some pruning so that you can bear even much more fruit. And then it says at the end of uh, that passage in verse 8, my father is glorified by this, that you will produce fruit. So his goal, his desire for all of us is to be fruit producing machines, good fruit producing machines. But the good fruit only comes if we're abiding in the right things. And so maybe you find yourself this week uh, producing uh, not so good of fruit. Maybe you're frustrated that there's fruit that is coming from your life, whether it's out of your lips or in your heart, and you're maybe it's frustrating. You're trying to go, hey, I'm trying to do the right things. I made some changes. I'm following the Lord now, but there's still this fruit coming out of me. I just want to remind you, it comes from where you abide. Where you abide is what you bear. And so it, it takes some time to cycle through that. It takes some time that, if especially if you're new in the Lord, to start abiding in good things that will produce good fruit. And, uh, or, or maybe if you're mature in the Lord and you're still trying, you're still working on this, uh, this area, this one area, maybe you need to check what you're abiding in. What are you spending time in? What areas, what arenas are you allowing to influence your fruit production? So many times we, we think, well, I go to church and I go to small group and I read my Bible and this, that, and then we check off all the boxes, but we fail to realize maybe the media we're entertaining, maybe the news we're entertaining, maybe the conversations and the jokes at work we're entertaining, are, we're abiding in those things, we're living in those arenas, and it's causing us to bear unhealthy fruit. And so be encouraged today, be encouraged that the Lord is glorified when you bear good fruit. And that you know good fruit comes from good abiding. And so where should we look to abide? We need to abide in His Word. We need to abide in His presence. We need to abide in the house of the Lord. Maybe that's for you today. Maybe you just need to get committed to coming to the house of the Lord, to being in community and fellowship with like-minded people that are pursuing the same God you are. Maybe you need to get connected to a small group, or maybe it's in your personal devotion walk. Whatever it is, 
whatever it looks like, whatever the abiding that needs that maybe needs to change, make the change so that you can start producing good fruit. Hey, I can't wait to see you this Sunday. We're wrapping up this series in Luke chapter six, and then we're going to get ready to jump into a new series. But uh, thanks so much for taking the time today to watch this video. I pray it encourages you. I pray it reminds you to abide in the good things. God bless.